Hello friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be explaining about trigonometry park. So we have implemented a trigonometry park where we wanted to depict various uh, mathematical uh, things in this park, which is related to trigonometry. So we have implemented various concepts in this park. The first concept is uh, right angle triangle is being depicted with the tan theta, sin theta and cos theta in this way. If you can see right, the opposite by adjacent is tan theta, sin theta is opposite by hypotenuse and cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse. And similarly, we have depicted uh, reciprocal identities of trigonometry by making use of uh, this flower concepts. So if you can see right, so we have a sin theta is represented by 1 by cosine theta and uh, cos theta is uh, represented by 1 by secant theta and tan theta is 1 by cot theta and cosine theta is 1 by sin theta and secant theta is 1 by cos theta and cot theta by 1 by tan theta. So this is how we represented the uh, reciprocal identities in trigonometry. We also depicted one more item related to trigonometry is trigonometric ratio table. Here we have put the table in this format when sin theta becomes 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree, what would be the value? What would be the ratio? That is what we wanted to depict here. For sin theta, these are the various uh, ratios uh, related to these degrees. And for cos theta, these are the values. And for tan theta, these are the values. And for cosine theta, these are the values. And for secant theta, these are the values. And for cot theta, so these are the values. So we are trying to depict very simple way so that people can very easily remember by making use of these uh, items in a given part. It's a fun way of uh, learning the trigonometric ratio in this way. And also we have depicted uh, Pythagoras theorem with a tree here. So we have depicted uh, Pythagoras theorem uh, by measuring the height of the tree, hypotenuse as well as base by using this uh, simple formula which is Pythagorean theorem which is a square plus b square is equal to c square that is base plus i is equal to hypotenuse. That is what uh, the Pythagoras theorem depicts here. So here we are given value for a is 20 centimeter from ear to ear which is 20 centimeter. Now height we are represented here is 8 centimeter. If you can see right, so we are going to move that uh, hypotenuse with the 8 centimeters. Now once we move this height to 8 centimeter, now we will try to measure the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse we should get is 21.5 centimeter. So now the measurement which is look like 21.5 the measurement of hypotenuse which is 21.5 that is the actual result we got by this example that depicts or that proves the Pythagorean theorem. Now we also have one more uh, theorem which is Pythagorean theorem again we are depicted in a different way which is a right angle triangle with uh, three squares in it. Now we have three square which is a, a and b square is equal to the bigger square. We can see right in this uh, square boxes, we have A, B, which is equivalent to I part in a square. That is what we wanted to depict here for this Pythagorean theorem. And also we have, so you are represented the super hexagon here. All these are represented by making use of this super hexagon. So these are the some of the different ways we were represented the trigonometric uh, things in a given this in this park, which is trigonometry park, where we can learn all the concepts of trigonometry in a one place in a very easy and fun way. I hope uh, you guys got a clarity on what are the things we can represent it in the trigonometric park for your mass exhibition projects. If you guys really like this video, please click on like button as well as share with your friends as well so that they will also get an idea how to develop this trigonometry park as well as how to explain this in math exhibition projects. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.